Now let's stamp our deer for our card. And once again, I have die cuts for this particular stamp, but the shape is easy enough that if you didn't have the die cuts for it, you could easily cut it out. I would do it with a little bit of a white halo. I think the white halo kind of matches the matting on the card and it's why I chose the colors the way I did. One second, my stamp here does not want to stick to my block. I think it might have, might need to be cleaned. There we go. All right, so once again, I have just a scrap piece of paper here. I've got it stuck into the corner, so if I need to re-stamp something, I know exactly where to place my paper. There's a magnet there, but um, with the clear stamps, I kind of find that the magnet kind of gets in the way. Sometimes it's a little bit too wide. And the stamping for this is a little bit blotchy, but you'll um, it'll even out, and for this particular color, you only actually see very little of it. So it's only the darker colors that you tend to see. But I do find that um, the ink tends to kind of even out as it's drying a little bit. Once again, the nice part about clear stamps is you can take your time, you can see through the image and you can match it up. And for this next color, I'm doing the antlers as well. Lift it up, but then adjust the paper, make sure that it's in the right spot. And I'm doing a stamped image. You could also use a die cut. I think that would be really cool for this card as well. And then just ink your die cut up to give it a little bit of shading to it. I'm not cleaning my stamps because of that first one not wanting to stick to um, not wanting to stick to my stamp platform here my stamps really need to be washed well so what I'm gonna do after this I'm just gonna wash them in some warm soapy water and then let them dry that'll take any residue that's making it not stick to my stamp platform off there there we go. And then last one is the black. We're gonna do the legs, the detail for the legs, and then the detail for the face. There we go, our image is done. I am going to cut these off camera and I'll be right back. All right, the deer pieces are cut and the antlers are actually two separate pieces. I'm just gonna put a dot of glue at the bottom of them and glue them to the top of my deer's head. And wait for that a moment and then while I'm waiting I'm going to stamp the sentiment this one here there we go one second I want to make sure to stamp up this or ink up the stamp quite well and then I'm not sure if it's visible on camera, but I have my sentiment on a grid block. And when I put it on the grid block, I just lined up one of the lines of the text with one of the grids so that when I go to put it on my stamp or put it on my card, if I line up the sides of the block with the card, I know that it's going to be straight. And all the sentiments um, other than the ones that are in um, with the color layer stamps. They're all from this set here, the bigger sentiments that I put on the inside of the card. 
now that that is tacky. It's probably not dry, but it's tacky enough that I don't think those antlers are gonna move. I'm gonna put some glue on here. Now I'm only putting it in kind of a reverse L shape because I don't want any glue on this part here. I want it on the bottom of the deer and the side of the deer so that it sticks to the front panel and the little Z part there. And then I'm also making sure that my antlers don't cover any of the text from the sentiment. There we go, still needs to totally dry, but there we have our Dear Z-Fold Z card.